How's it going? Welcome to the JMU Duke Dog Eats Cooking Show. Today we'll be showing you how to make the famous JMU Buffalo Mash. And some ingredients you'll need are some instant mashed potatoes, which we're using because we are very poor college students. Um, water, milk, salt. Here's some butter. Nice and healthy, right? Um, here's some, here's uh, the chicken strips. And then we need some hot sauce as well as some ranch. Alright, so the first step you're going to do is to put the chicken strips in the oven. So here I have four, which means that's enough for two servings, two chicken strips per serving. Um, I have already preheated the oven to 400 degrees, and these will need to bake for about 18 to 20 minutes. So once you put these in, you can get started on the mashed potatoes, because these take a little longer. So we're going to combine two-thirds cup water a little bit of salt, and a tablespoon of butter in a saucepan, and heat that until it's boiling. Okay, so now that's boiling, we're going to remove it from the heat and stir in two-thirds cups of flakes and one-third cup of milk with a fork until your desired consistency. Now that the timer is going off, we want to take the chicken out of the oven. And let it cool for about five minutes till you're ready to plate it with the mashed potatoes. Okay, so once the chicken is cool, you can put it in the mashed potatoes as is, but personally I like it chopped up a little bit. So we're going to chop them in bite-sized pieces so that it's easier for you to eat. Okay, so depending on how much chicken you want to put in, you want to put about a handful or so on top of your mashed potatoes. If you're really hungry, just keep on piling it up. Brian's super hungry all the time. And then you're going to take your hot sauce. And you're just going to drizzle as much as you want. If you want it more hot, you're going to pour more on it, obviously. And that looks good. And then we're going to take ranch. Or you can use blue cheese if you like blue cheese better. But you want to take a spoonful and just kind of drizzle it on the top of it. Okay, so personally I like to mix it all up so that it's perfectly mashed together. And you get all of the taste all in your mouth at the same exact time. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to try it. Mm. Very good. 